next to you The sky is more blue In Malibu Next to you Hey guys, long time no talk. I wanted to show you some of the things that I'm loving lately. One is this. It's the brand Zum Clean. This is the Ba Hum Zum. This is the this is the holiday peppermint almond. Um, this is laundry detergent. This is really small, and this was kind of expensive for what you get. But I really like this stuff. I also like the. Let me just show you the Zum Clean. The Zum Clean granite and countertop cleaner. I guess I'll just show you my cleaning products as well. So this is the just a, like a kitchen and sink scrubber. It's like this white product. I got this at the health food store. Um, seventh generation dish soap. I use this for everything like to clean toilets, to clean sinks and stuff like that. And then of course Bronner's. And then I have a what is it? Earth friendly um, dishwasher. Like the, it's not jet dry, but you know what I mean. And yeah, this is Lou. Yes, he's up on the counter because he does whatever he wants within reason. But I wanted to show you some of the products that I've been taking and loving lately. First of all, this is my diffuser, and then I have. Lavender, or no, not lavender, rosemary, lemon, and peppermint essential oil. Lou, you are in the way, baby. Okay, this is my digestive enzyme that I've been taking lately. It's the Garden of Life Doctor Formulated Enzymes, and it's a chewable one. And it says that it has 29 organic fruits and veggies, and it's you take it right after your meals to help digestion. I am personally a proponent of probiotics and enzymes. I know that not everyone is, but I personally am, and I love it. Okay, and then right here, this is elderberry syrup. So elderberry syrup has been known for, oh my god, years and years and years and years to help with your immune system. And I was actually sick about a month ago. Really, really sick. I think I had the flu. Um, it was horrible. And I started taking really big doses of the elderberry syrup. And I really think it helped me. Um, you know, I just, I really like it. So now I kind of take it as maintenance. Here's Lou getting ready to come. Louie, you're in the way, baby. Um, I take it as maintenance, like two teaspoons every single day, just to help my immune system. Then this one right here is my probiotic that I take. It's the Garden of Life as well. It's the same brand as this one. Um, just the once daily 50 billion women's probiotic. I take it every morning. I'm getting ready to take it actually. And I really, really like it. I personally, like I said, probiotics and enzymes I get on the train with because I've personally taken a lot of, pro of antibiotics in my life. You know, when I was little, every time I got a cold, I was put on antibiotics, things like that. So it builds up in the system in a really good way that you that you can tell if you've had, um, you know, your gut uh, compromised and a lot of antibiotic use. Is take a look at your iridology, look at your eyes, see if you have sulfur in your eye eyes because that is a telltale sign that you um, have a compromised gut and you've probably taken a lot of antibiotics and eaten a lot of processed foods and things like that because that's how you can collect sulfur in the bowels, but. The next one here is a B12 methylcobalamin sublingual supplement. This is the brand Innovative Quality? I think that's the brand. Um, but it's an active melt, and I really like it. It's a tiny, tiny um, little sublingual, but I try to take one of these every couple days. Then this next one is the GAIA Herbs, Gaia, I think, Gaia. Um, this is the thyroid support. So this is loaded with iodine and minerals that help the thyroid because I really think that we have a, live in a society where people's thyroids are busted and burnt out and I don't think I'm immune to that so I just really take like taking those I've been taking those for months um on and off but um pretty regularly at the same time if that makes sense and I really like it so they make me feel good so those are the supplements that I've been taking lately and Flip the camera around on me. I just woke up, so not looking too cute. And this is Pee Pee. This is my peanut. He's so sweet. He says, Let me down, you crazy lady. Let me down. Okay. <laughs> on me. 
It's the morning. I literally just woke up, so not looking too cute, but I wanted to flip the camera around on me and talk about one other thing that I've been loving lately. So those are the supplements and things that I've been taking, um, but I'm also writing a new book. And it's going to be a seven day guide to veganism in terms of recipes. So I really like making um, practical tools like this that people can use. Um, I have down to earth raw vegan recipes and then I wrote my guide to raw veganism and detoxification called Get the Glow. I'm looking at it up here, I have it all up on the stand. but. Um, the Get the Glow was just my all-encompassing guide. You know, I don't think I'll ever write another one of those because Get the Glow is it. I mean, I really, really love it. I'm proud of it. Um, but the recipes can keep coming and coming. And I know that when I'm looking at people's content, I love looking at recipes because I have a ton of recipes that I love, but who can, we can always use a new one, right? So anyway, this is going to be a seven day guide. It's gonna have breakfast, lunch, and dinner recipes for each day. So it's gonna have about 21 recipes for sure. And I throw, I might throw in some snacks as well. So be on the lookout for that. It's most likely just going to be in the ebook format. Um, but I might do the hard copy if you guys request that. It's quite a bit more work for me to do that, but it's totally fine because I love myself having just a hard copy that I can just open up and look at, bring to my kitchen counter when I'm cooking, things like that. So be on the lookout for that. I'm hoping within a month maybe that'll be out, maybe two, but it's coming pretty soon. I'm already almost done with it, but there's still always lots of tweaks and things like that. But thank you guys for watching. I know that I haven't made a video in a long time, but I've been so busy. I recently moved, um, got a new cat, Lou, that you saw, and I've just been very, very busy. But I really appreciate you guys still watching, and I still get emails from you guys and things like that, and I appreciate it, and I try to answer them as best as I can. So if you want more information from me, go to my website, victoriarobvegan.com. If you want an iridology analysis, if you want to check out the books that I've written, things like that, head to there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Window booth at a bar, back pew on a Sunday, pouring out your heart. When the bleachers are crowded, when you're sitting all alone.